So what we're going to do is we're just going to put these two pins together, make them meet, okay? And then we go down there. Now, I can take them out because I pretty much got my landmark. I know where I'm going. Well, let me see. I'll just put that lower. But I pretty much know where I'm going. I'm just doing this for show for you guys because you guys need to know the right way of doing things. Once you get accustomed to doing things your own way, then you have you cut your corners the way you cut your corners. You know what I'm saying? And make it easier on yourself. And I think we all that um, so all seamstresses have their own way in which they do things, you know? Okay. Then you always want to back stitch. And the back stitch keeps it from um, unraveling. You know what I'm saying? It like locks in that, it locks in that uh, stitch. Now with a dart, okay, you want to start going towards the edge, sort of like a diamond, kind of. Okay, you're going to sew them like an angle, like a diamond. Okay, I'll show you when I get this out of here. Cut that off. Okay, now I need to unloosen up my bobbin a little bit because it's, it's um, pulling at my threads. Okay, so when I when I mean by going to the edge or doing it like a diamond, kind of, let me show you. Well, once you once you um, iron these out you won't see all this but anyway look it you're gonna you're gonna sew it to the tip here you know like because that's what give you your curve because see look at here check it when you look at when you open it up like that the reason why you want that curve is because the booty poke out right there so you want it to kind of concave in so to make that concave in when you're sewing your darts you're gonna sew your darts whereas with a concave, whereas you're gonna, it's gonna be wide here and it just slants go, going in, if that makes sense. So, let me go back behind this one thread here because I didn't back stitch on it at all and I don't want my shit to come apart. So, let me. Now, okay, so we have one done already. You see that? And you're gonna Iron them that way towards the center. Maybe I will go ahead on and hem it. I'll hem it. I'll hem it because I do want it to be finished. So I'll, I'll hem it. But yeah, so you just turn it in like that and you iron it in. And it, I'll show you the way that looks later. But let's do this one. You put those together, your pins together. Once you put that together, then you can take your pins out. Because now you got your landmark. Sewing this so that it will concave in, right? You just turn your material 
the way in which you want it to go. Okay. So, here we go. Okay. Now, you got your you got your darts in. Now what I'm going to do, this is just the way in which I do things. Y'all do things differently, but this is the way I'm going to do mine. I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to go ahead on and do this long seam and get that out the way. And then therefore, I can press my seams and press my darts all at the same time. It just cuts out a step for me. Because according to the booklet, it'll tell you, okay, do this. Then you come through, iron out your seams. Then you come back and you do the seam. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cut out all that. and I'm Because when I, when I go to my iron and start ironing, I'm going to do all that at one time. Okay? So now we're just putting the two pieces together. Guys, this is one of the most simplest. Simplest. Okay, now you see this is the wrong side. That's the wrong side. The inside is on the inside, okay? So now we just put these two guys together. I don't even need the book for this because you're just putting one long seam together. That's it. Now, remember how we was um, doing these notches? yesterday okay now here's the notches you just put your notches together that let you know like a geranimo type remember um when um when our babies our kids were babies and we used to go and buy them geranimo stuff and with geranimos i don't know those of you guys that don't have children or those of you guys that because i don't even think they sell geranimos anymore but with geranimos, you put the tiger and a tiger together. It what it was is it was helping kids be able to put their clothes together in the mornings for school. And and with the geranimos, they uh it'll be like a tiger and a tiger, so they know that that shirt goes with that pants. And then like it'll be an elephant and an elephant, you know that type of stuff. I don't know if they even make geranimos anymore, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you just putting those notches together just like geranimos. Okay, now. Now we're going to go down and do this. Y'all, I'm loving this already. I'm already loving this. I'm already loving this. And I'm going to just keep the camera rolling. We ain't going to even stop the tape. We're going to just keep the camera rolling. So we're going to see how quick this dress is to make. Okay? The hemming and all that, all that shit is extra. You know what I mean? Cause you can even buy decorative, um, you could buy decorative, excuse me, you could buy decorative, um, scissors and have it cut where you want it to cut. You can even do that even, so. Okay, let's go. Start off slow because you want to backstitch and you backstitch out. Getting caught on the table. Okay. And one thing about sewing, you don't pull the material. There is a rolling uh, thing up under the material and it makes it slide by itself. So don't pull it out. Don't pull your material out. Just let it feed itself. It's going to feed itself. See? It feeds itself. You know, all you're doing is guiding it. But you don't want to pull your material because then therefore you'll have buckles in it. So you want it to just go, do what it's going to do on its own. I think my needle was also a little dull. Might need to change my needle. That's another thing that will kind of make the material kind of buckle. If the uh, bobbin, if your threads, if your, your, your uh, buttons are off. You know, it'll make your stitches come out too tight and, you know, and stuff like that. So, you just kind of want to be mindful of that. Guys, I'm loving this. I am loving this. This is gorgeous.
And then you back stitch when you get down to the end. That's it. Cut off your threads. Bam. Okay. Now we got our darts in there. We got our front and our back together. And that's him. Put the dress on and wrap it up. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mama a little fat too, Jack. Maybe I should have made this shit bigger. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> 